Uh, hi, namaste everybody. Uh, this is Harshit Agrawal, product manager of Rapidesk. And uh, here's my team, the Rapidesk team. Uh, Nishant over here is the designer uh, who has helped us revamped the whole Frappe Frameworks UI. And Kamal, the whole and soul of Rapidesk, who has developed from scratch. Um, so yeah, I'm here to introduce Rapidesk. Um, so Rapidesk is an open source cu customer service tool. So every other company nowadays has multiple channels to uh, support and serve their customers. So uh, it, it becomes a necessity for any organization to identify all the incoming qu inquiries and uh, into one single place. And that's where exactly Frappedesk fits in. How it started? Um, so I have been in Frappe support team serving our customers using ERP Next support module for a brief period of time. Um, using ERP Next support module has uh, its own set of challenges, uh, from updating a ticket status or replying to a customer. It required multiple scrolls, uh, multiple clicks, and the information which we had was scattered all over the place. And moreover, uh, like there were too many distractions which you may not even use. So uh, in August of 2021, uh, inside Frappe, uh, we were discussing that, uh, like, how we, uh, like, at Frappe, everybody as an individual can find an opportunity and basically pitch an idea uh, and create a business of their own. Um, and there has always been an itch, like ERP Next being so awesome and Frappe framework being at the center. Uh, I always wanted. Uh, like you know, uh, Frappe to have multiple applications uh, and not just ERP Next. So uh, and having some domain knowledge about how support tool works and uh, what are the problems which we face using ERP Next support module, um, I decided to pitch a Frappe Desk tool. Um, so uh, we started by separating ERP Next support module uh, into a standalone application. Alongside, uh, Nishant over here has been designing the new UI. Uh, and it was mostly focused on how agents and customers interact with the system. After multiple, um, when I say multiple, I actually mean multiple because we have uh, reiterated Frappe Desk from scratch, the whole UI and UX thing, for about four times, uh, including development. So, uh, like after multiple iterations, we finally launched uh, Frappe Desk on 22nd of July. So to give you a brief uh, demo about how Frappe Desk feels and looks like, I would like to invite uh, Kamal, our product engineer, to the stage. And Kamal? Yeah, yeah hello. My name is Kamal Johnson. So I'm an uh, engineer at, here at Frappe. So for the last few months, I was working on this awesome project, Frappedux. So that's it. Like uh, I'm directly going to the demo part. So, uh, yeah, so, so um, as an agent, uh, when he uh, log in, logs in to the site which has Frappedux installed, so this is what uh, will be shown to it, shown to him. So here you can see the ticket list view. So here all the tickets which are created from the customer portal. And also uh, the support email, if it's set set up, uh, all will be appeared on this uh, 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 common ticket list view, so that he doesn't have to like toggle between uh, different tabs to um, check all the tickets. It's it's uh, it makes the hustle away, right? So uh, on the left side, you can see uh, uh, I'm actually logged in as an agent, so you can uh, get a feel of how an agent uh, goes through uh, the certain flows. So on the left side, you can uh, see my open tickets, uh, my reply tickets. So basically, what it, uh, what it shows is uh, it uh, um, gives me uh, all the uh, tickets that are assigned to me and which are grouped based on status. So uh, yeah, other than the presets uh, filters, which are on, the, uh, uh, on, the, on this side, uh, left side, uh, we, can, we have um, 
we can add other filters from uh, the filter component over here. So let's go back to the all tickets view. So here uh, in the ticket list view, we have ticket subject, uh, the ticket status, the, uh, the customer who uh, created the ticket, the SLA details, uh, when the ticket is due and stuff, and uh, the uh, agent who, who the ticket is assigned to. And if you zoom in here to the left, you can see certain, I don't think I, uh, it's visible over there, right? Yeah, so uh, you can uh, see the, these icons. So basically these are like, uh, indicates the ticket priority, um, how um, priority, uh, what the priority of the ticket is. So yeah, so let's go to my open tickets and just open one of the tickets. So when you open the ticket, this is a ticket detail view, um, yeah. So uh, in the center, uh, we have the customer uh, conversation view, which is the center of uh, center attraction of the ticket detail view. On the right side, we have the customer um, customer details. So the name, the email, and also you can see here if it's visible, uh, it's a, uh, there's a uh, custom input uh, which is the order. So that this ticket currently it's uh, related to an order. So we have this uh, uh, field over here also uh, so that the agent could just click on it and um, uh, access the order. So uh, this part is kind of customized. Uh, I have had created a doc type. Uh, so it's not limited to just the, uh, that doc type. So we can have um, you know, like Yarnex doc types and all, all those things integrated with this, uh, this ticket templating thing. Yeah. And uh, to the bottom, we have um, access to all the other t open tickets that this customer had created. And we have ticket history. Um, it gives uh, all the activities the ticket has gone through. On the top left, it's top left, right? Yeah. Top left, uh, we have the SLA details. So um, SLA is basically uh, policies which the organizations uh, uh, at, uh, created at the organization level for the uh, for getting uh, for making the customers um, have a standardized uh, experience uh, on on their. Um, um, response times and, and stuff. So uh, we have prioritized this UI uh, to make it um, so that the agents can always be on top of the uh, SLA requirements and um, give the customer a really good experience. So on, uh, in, uh, in the bottom we have um, certain actions, uh, like we can set the uh, ticket type, the uh, team uh, um, ticket team, sorry, uh, agent team, and the priority of the ticket. So, yeah, so let's just uh, reply to the ticket. Uh, or like, so here, uh, Savior is a customer who had his uh, order, like, uh, um, not delivered to him or something, and he's asking when, when will it be delivered. So we can just click on this order detail. So it uh, directly goes to the form view. Uh, so we can see here that it is, it's in, uh, in transit. So, uh, and also the expected delivery date is 24th, which is tomorrow. So, uh, let's go back to the ticket detail view and just reply to him. Hi, Savior. Sorry, it's capital. Yeah. Hi, Savior. Tomorrow. Okay, so sorry for my, um, for my typing speed. Yeah, that's so. Let's just reply to it. Uh, so you can see that uh, it's been replied. You can see at the bottom. I, I think it's more not visible to the uh, back uh, back bench. So yeah, good luck. <laughs> so um, so this was the flow uh, for an agent. So let's go to the customer side. So I had created this uh, page in which. Sorry, uh, so before that, so uh, let's just uh, set the type and stuff. So the, uh, I think this is a question, so I'll, I will uh, make it uh, the type, set it as question and um, make the team as logistics. And also mark the ticket as replied. So yeah, so um, this is the customer view uh, in which I had uh, logged in as a customer. Uh, so here you can see that uh, it's uh, the status, status is waiting for reply. So when I open the ticket, you can see the reply over here. So uh, since uh, I got my 
as a customer, I got my uh, uh, what's it, uh, reply, so and I'm happy with that. Uh, let's just thanks. Just that's it. Uh, okay, so let's just close the ticket. So and the top side, you can see the customer satisfaction form. So it's just for uh, the customers can give uh, a feedback for the uh, entire ticket uh, issue. Uh, uh, Experience. So let's just give it, it a good. I am satisfied review. Uh, I like the fast <laughs> response. Kind of ironic, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, here you can see the uh, feedback. So let's go back to the ticket uh, agent view. So on, to on the top, you can see the feedback that the customer had given us. So the, and I have kind of explained the entire like a basic uh, ticketing flow right now. So uh, this is kind of a simple flow, but uh, let me just uh, take an example of a kind of a complex flow. So I have this ticket opened. So uh, there could be uh, scenarios in which the agent, uh, the uh, assigned agent would have some uh, like queries uh, or some uh, knowledge gap or something. Uh, and want to ask other agents uh, like what uh, actual what uh, he he or she wants to do about the ticket. So uh, here you can see. If, so basically, uh, if the color is visible, so there is a yellow tint or orangeish tint on these two things. Th those are comments. So those are uh, used for internal communication between the agents. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. So this is how the ticketing flow works, and um, we can um, go to the knowledge base. So this is one of the other features that we provide uh, in Frappidesk. Um, so knowledge base is basically a collection of categories and articles so that the customers can uh, look into it and um, like instead of creating, creating, creating a ticket, um, like self uh, satisfy uh, his or his, uh, her um, issues. So here on the right side, you can see the ticket li uh, article list view, and uh, it has the title, the status, whether the article is published or not, and who the author was. And also you can see the number of views that particular article has received. And you can um, create new categories from uh, by clicking on that page. And yeah, basic uh, stuff. And you can just, uh, let me just open one of the articles. So here, uh, this is the, uh, edit page, sorry, the edit page of the edit article. So uh, let's just go to the view where, the, how the customers would be viewing this. Uh, so this is the articles and let me just go to the home. So you can see the categories over here and uh, uh, these are the articles. So uh, these are the features that you get right out of the box, out of the box when you install Frappidesk. So, uh, let me just invite um, back uh, Harshit to continue with the presentation. So yes, this was a demonstration of how any e-commerce platform or anybody using ERP Next can actually uh, integrate with Frappidesk. Um, so uh, just after the uh, release of uh, Frappidesk, uh, we received around uh, 1,100 unique visitors on the website in, the, in just first week. Uh, our repo has been forked 39 times uh, till date, and we have few around uh, 100 community members. Plus, uh, uh, we, we don't say this often inside Frappe, but uh, we are actually very grateful uh, for Frappe Cloud team, uh, to Frappe Cloud team because they were the early adopters even when the Frappe Desk wasn't launched. Uh, they have been using Frappe Cloud team, uh, sorry, Frappe, uh, Frappe Desk since uh, 4th May and uh, like they, they usually, like they basically became our beta testers. <laughs> so uh, what's, what's next? Um, so we have something for everyone, uh, like for the admins, for the organization. Uh, we will be introducing dashboards and reports to monitor your team's performance and optimize based on, uh, like you know, what what uh, reviews you receive. Um, then there is uh, like uh, for your customers, uh, we will be uh, integrating with uh, some social media platforms and WhatsApp, 
and for agents, we are introducing canned responses uh, so that, uh, like you know, your cust uh, your agents can serve your customers faster. And this is not going to be like the email template which we already have uh, inside framework. So, yeah, uh, you can check out our repo. Uh, it's GitHub.com/frappe/desk. Uh, unlike any other Frappe application, uh, we actually do maintain our GitHub repo, and uh, you can. Uh, uh, you can actually go to our projects tab and see what we are currently working on, uh, like uh, what's going to be released next week, what's, uh, what's in our backlog, so that every other community member is, uh, like, you know, knows how and when they'll be getting the feature. Plus, uh, so, so, yeah, I guess that's, that's pretty much it. And uh, I would, I would, uh, really urge you to go get a free trial on frappedesk.com and see how it exceeds your expectations plus your customers' expectations. Thank you.